Welcome back to Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man. I have decided to join the monastery. And it's a very easy task. You just have to, you just have to ask. And I guess have the appropriate prayer level. Anyways, there's a few useful things up here. But I just really wanted to come up here today to get my prayer points back. Not that prayer is super useful quite yet. Do not have protection prayers. But it's just nice having the circle be blue. Anyways, on to the real meat of this episode. I've got all these Karen bonds, and I want to use the Karen bonds for something. After finishing Dragon Slayer, how about some regular Slayer? With 61 combat, the best Slayer Master is Vinaka. First task, 20 vampires. Not great, not great. Well, I guess we can try. As far as getting there, I'm just going to teleport to Varrock. Vampires are a little stronger, but we didn't go in here with 40 combat to Vinaka, so we probably will be okay. As far as drops are concerned, not a great task. And as far as drops that we can keep, that is a, another whole situation. Really not in the point where I can do much with drops. Like, besides money and selling some stuff to stores. Maybe some runes. We will see what we can get from these vampires. But I am not expecting much. Using this convenient shortcut over into Mauritania. And that is a hard diary task. There's a lot of more difficult things in the Mauritania hard diary. So that's not that's not gonna be happening for quite a while. But hey, there's one task. And a nice shortcut. Onwards to the vampires. Well, that was a short little adventure there. These vampires have a very high regeneration rate and an attack that heals them. So I went through all those Karen Bonds to kill 20 of them. And I didn't even get any Slayer points for the effort. Oh, oh, you see over there. I'm not gonna let that stop me quite yet. But I am going to go to Berthorp to get lower level Slayer tasks while I'm not going to get any points whatsoever. I'm probably going to do a decent amount of point boosting. Just because that's going to be useful. Get the points to buy a few things, block some tasks I really cannot be asked to do. 36 bears. Manageable. As far as loot is concerned, I got two black axes, which are actually pretty useful for me. And some runes, less useful. Keep these earth runes, I guess. All right, for bears, I'm probably going to need more food, but conveniently, there are bears right outside our doing. So that's where I'll go. Steal some cakes, kill some bears. Sounds like a good plan to me. The levels are just flying in here. Slayer level, hit points level, attack level, slayer level, slayer level. Bears task completed. 
much more doable than the vampire's task was. Also hit a milestone of 700 total. So that's pretty nice. If we get to a point where we do the task too quickly and we can't teleport back to Birthorp, I'm probably going to need to go and get some water runes for Falador teleports. But overall, I think we can make do with this. Also, I really only need the one black axe right now, so I can sell that. Just extra inventory space. It's useful for a clue scroll, but the other items are going to be a little bit challenging to get at this point, but getting a black axe is not the easiest task, so I'm going to keep it around for the time being. Next task is birds. Well, that's going to be very quick. Because we can kill chickens for that. Very easy. Well, there's the birds task done. For a whopping 150 Slayer XP. I think I'm going to pop into Alcarid to get more law runes. Teleport to Varrock, buy more earth and water runes, then continue going in new tasks. Didn't bother picking up the feathers, because I'm not going to really do any fishing right now. Let's see, we got, we got plenty of money, and money's very easy to come by at this point. We're probably going to get quite a few law runes here. Law runes. Always useful. If a bit expensive. Yeah, 60, that's probably fine. Alright. I think I want to do 10 Slayer tasks here. Well, not, not here. This is Varrock. But, yes. Get up to the 10th task. Because why not? It's going to be more efficient to come back and do Slayer later. I'm just kind of in the mood for it, and so I will. Task number four completed. It was dogs. So I came here, killed a whole bunch of guard dogs. A better way to get to our doin is becoming very high on my list of things to do. Used cakes for these fights. Easily replaceable by more cakes. Only need one more task before we start receiving Slayer points. So that'll be nice. Also, praying there was an easy task. Fantastic. I complete more random achievement diary tasks. That's fine. So I'm going to get more cake. There's a new record for least amount of Slayer experience on a task. 63 from the Spider's task. And I could have made it lower if I had only killed the level 2, well, level 1 spiders. Since level 2 spiders have significantly more hit points. That was our fifth task there. So we would have gotten points. If it was not to real. But we're going to continue with these quicker tasks. Since even if we went to Vinaka, it's not a lot of points. It's really not. If we can keep getting very quick tasks like spiders chickens. We'll have 10 ta tasks done here in no time. Significantly more experience from this cow fight task. Came over here to the task only cave because I didn't need to bring a rope to get in here. 
That is inventory management, is what that is. But now, a skeleton is ghost sounding at us. So we will head out to get the next task. Task number seven was bats. And I decided to go with giant bats, just as they were closer to Birthorp and more experience. So I think that was a solid plan. They did a tiny bit of damage to me, but I saw this pile of cake, so I will be just fine. Two more tasks, and then we will return to Vinaka for the bonus 10th task. Task number eight. Dogs again. Over here. In our doing. Ate all of the cake. But that's fine, because there's more cake. One more task at Turiel. That's back to Vinaka. Hopefully, the Vinaka task is not as bad. But we still have one more task before that's a problem. Okay. This task is going to require a little bit more effort. We got lizards. And unfortunately, our slayer level is high enough for desert lizards. Not sulfur lizards. Just desert lizards. So for that, we're going to need some ice coolers. I'm just going to assume I'm going to mess up a whole bunch of times. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of extra ones. They're not too expensive, so that's manageable. Now, just need to go out into the desert. Probably going to get some water skins. That'd probably be a good idea. So we don't die in the desert. Well, it's only 18, so... It's manageable. It's manageable. Killing a desert lizard was a medium task in the desert? Guess that's not too surprising. Also, 50 hit points. Which is a pretty big deal. Because that means... The Ring of Life can now save us at 5 HP. So that's good. Every 10 levels, that's just more likelihood to survive. And that is something I'm definitely here for. 10th task coming up from Vanaka. Hopefully better than the vampire's task. Here's open. Okay, Vinaka. Please be kind. 90 Moss Giants. That's not bad. Some good experience from that. And we can even start by just finding these Moss Giants right here. Ultimately, we are going to need more food. Or use magic. Eh, if you like melee. Oh, it's multi here. Okay. Well. We will be heading back to our doing again. That was a hard task. I came in here to complete the Varrock Hard Diary. That's my story. And we have Moss Giants to fight. Not bad. Better than vampires, at least. Now that was a Slayer task. 5,400 Slayer experience for those 90 Moss Giants. And since it was the 10th task, we get a total of 20 Slayer points. Which is not a lot. And we probably won't be 
doing more Slayer until we have higher level Slayer Masters. That was just a bit of fun. We did get a few good things, though. We got a black square shield. So now we have even more defense. We got this Mithril Spear, which technically would be useful. For a quest. But we're not really to the point where we're ready to do that quest yet. And a spear shop exists now, so we don't need that. Got a few other things we can sell. We got a mossy key, which I am very much not at the point to be fighting a bryophyta. So we're just going to drop that. Sell the rest of this stuff to the shop here. Do we need cosmic runes for anything? Maybe. Probably not. Cosmic runes are not the easiest thing to come by. Oh, yes they are. We've got a shop that sells cosmic runes. Let's get rid of those. If we need cosmic runes, we can go to Alcarid. Not a huge deal. Also, don't think we need nature runes right now. Same, same situation with that. Death runes, cancer runes. We can get more money selling those to magic shops, but honestly, can't be bothered. It also got a beginner clue scroll. So I'm going to get that done. Since we can store any special rewards that we get from this in the house, that'll work very well. And there is the casket. Had one of the hot and cold steps. That was pretty easy. It is a beginner clue, after all. We get not much. I mean, that's actually pretty good as far as beginner clues are concerned. So, really cannot complain. We sell stuff to this shop? No, we can't. Okay. Next thing I want to do is get my graceful back. Just need to store the last two pieces of the graceful in here. And then search it for the full set. And that leaves us with full adamant, which I can store. Just need to go to Varrock and get some planks and nails from the sawmill. And then it's quite the trek. All the way over to the Shazian combat ring. I came to Land's End. Probably wasn't particularly quicker. Eh, a little bit. But yeah. We do not have great transportation yet. But here is the inconspicuous crate medium. You can build a hidey hole there. 250 construction speed. And there goes a full set of adamant. So, whenever we need some armor, we could either just go buy it again or come all the way over here. But I think getting back over here and pretty much everywhere else in the world needs to get better. So more transportation, or at least working towards it, will be my next goal. Next time. Goodbye.